where, where, where? Um, bro, I love like these uh, college like cons like this, like Frag Fest, like UCI's events. Like they just they're always so fun. You get so many people who enter. Like oh, I don't play Smash Bros. So this is a great enter uh, thing to be at, especially at Highlander Con. We got all sorts of stuff. We got an artist gallery. We got the um, the raffles going on. It's just, it's oh, they were movie. giving out some stuff. Bro, I don't know what how these college people get these uh, this equipment, but they'd be going off. Right, looks Ooh. like we're gonna get the Min Min. I'm not. Woo! I don't think I've seen this matchup before. Always fun to see a Min Min uh, against a Link. So the issue is, how many projectiles can I get out, and how can you get in my face in a reasonable way? So of course, Min Min's gonna want to put space and worry about how she's landing these nares. Uh, as well, Link has a very exploitable recovery, pretty pretty linear uh, outside of the bomb recovery. Yeah, I'm sure and about downing with F-Smash, you know, time right's gonna just eat Yeah, up. Ram Ram will, will mess your stuff up. However, we all know Min Min is not uh, the most versatile off stage, so uh, expect a good grab and a good setup with the bomb to get her right the hell out. Absolutely, yeah. The name of the game for against Min Min is definitely keep her in that disadvantage. Not a lot of moves to get you out of it, so it's gonna be difficult. Agreed, agreed. Oh, sorry. Um, and this is like we're saying, like trying to land with Ben. Back there, one into the. You're a spin. That's 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 a classic. As we said, you know, Cesar, if there's tech, he's gonna know it. Yeah, I love that. That's that's really indicative to me whether or not the link player is familiar, very familiar with the character. It's throwing the ball out. Uh huh. Just leave, just leave it. Let it be. Let, let them play with it. You know, mess yeah, around. Yeah. Hey? Oh, he's trying to get the he's trying to get the pencil set up. And you know what? I was yeah, absolutely. He was like I think a frame or two off. Right now, Lord Vito bit back into this. He needs to start getting up this damage. I like that uh, Sizu is putting on this pressure. Min Min kind of wa does want to get that space out so he can start throwing out those uh, punches and everything. So he's, uh, he's really finding it difficult to get in right now. Yeah, I mean, Vito, yeah, like we said, Vito's taking a beating, but, you know, he's not dead yet, and that's what you need. Yeah. 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 turning up right now. He's putting up that pressure. I did not know Min Min had a multi-jab. I thought it was just a gentleman. Yeah, no, it's actually, it's pretty fun to see because he actually had a lot of fun. Just Falling in, falling in, falling in, falling in, not letting Vito in right now. That's a ZSS grab. Yeah, we got that megawatt out. I don't know if he's charged yet, but you know, megawatt in air. You know, catch him slipping. That could take the stock right now. DI too tries to get him with the dragon. I feel like the Ram Ram, like you say, might be the better tool to try to get Link off stage. Yeah, I mean, real slow. It goes for the up throw. Once again, oh! Well, that was scary. Yeah, that was very, very bad situation. There's the alien. There we go. The Mega Watt Nair. When does that happen? Damn. Something out of Min Min Ring? That's crazy. Once in a lifetime opportunity. Oh, God, bro. He got Tesla Ring. Oh, speaking of huge, that was. The two points. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we didn't know who he was, but I know the Vito. I played Vito right He's playing very well with the. He's all the way back in. He literally got two punches, man. Check yeah. the one, too. And picking up the bomb, making sure that there's like a little bit of fear that uh, Caesar can't marry himself. Who, who has been setting up a lot of things on him? Doesn't he drop the bomb? No roll in, but the fair will take his time. Yeah, but that was perfect spacing from Caesar, too. Just the very tip of rage, but Lord Vito, like you said, two punches, he's back in that. That was 
That was, that was getting real close towards the end, so I think that uh, Sizzle has to stay on his P's and Q's, especially if they're going to run it back. Those platforms were doing pretty good to get away from some of this uh, projectile pressure that Sizzle was putting on. Definitely at the end, it seems like Lorbito was uh, kind of figuring out the spacing that he needed to get around Sizzle, just getting a little more, little more hits in. If you don't know how to go around Link, it could be really difficult to find those openings. So I'm, uh, I'm excited to see what he pulls out game two. Absolutely, absolutely. And as you said, you know, as you figure out how to move around, all this damage that you're still getting put on you, you're still figuring out, hey, yo, if I can get around you and put damage on, then I can probably take a stock a little bit early. And then there was the lead is a scam. Same time, I also want to say uh, shout out to Lord Vita with the recovery. Nita, uh, Caesar was putting out those bombs a lot, trying to put on that pressure. He was just recovering super good, not giving those panic off. So that's really what you need to do when you have an exploitable recovery. You can't be giving up anything too easy. Yeah, don't, don't show that you're nervous. You yeah. know. <laughs> and they know. All right, we're going to the fire brand. And I love this bit, honestly, kind of sitting really good. And then back up and uh, you know, play her game. If I could just get to this ledge, bro. <laughs> that was uh, that was good stuff from Sis. He put on so much pressure. Back actually getting a bit of stun there. Yep, send that away. I like that drag slam. Just enough to like also. Right now we see Beto kind of in his element. He's zoning out the link, not giving him the chance. Like this is how it feels. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god! Is that a I think so. Cause that looks like he hit the he hit the crap with the mega and then like it just hit barely. Over yeah, that was either a shield poke or a scissor like drop. I don't think he dropped shield. I think it that didn't was a look like he dropped shield. So great, great awareness of Barbito, knowing that he can throw out two of those arms, put enough shield pressure on with one. And oh, I like that he's throwing the bomb and then going into the punches. Yeah, yeah, very, very nice. I don't know how true that is, but it's definitely a good mix-up. Absolutely. And mix are the name of the game. And with all this space between you and a minion. Yep, get over here. Like, yeah, no, what are you doing? Don't get comfortable, bro. This, this is my side. Oh, you said you got, oh, you got necklace. <laughs> Look at this lens Oh, man, oh, there's, there's no jump. Trump. We got a sniper. Yeah, that's it. GG. Yeah. Uh, that was a great conversion from Sizzle going for Light Trump. Didn't seem to do that at all last game, or at least hit with it. Trying to end the game. Yeah, that's just playing right now. It's looking like it right now. Lord Vito's kind of looking like game one, where he's not really sure how to get in, but he's fighting. And I think, uh, and as we can see, I think Lord Vito being a little bit too aggressive. Like, like that was that one. Yeah, that was yeah, unfortunate. Yeah, they are gonna take that too. Oh, but you know, I'm a fan of the Vito. As we said a little bit earlier, you know, you get put in pressure situation. It's really how you react to that pressure. And you know, he might have crumbled just a little bit, but all that neutral play was really good, and uh, it kept him in the game in a strong way. Yeah, definitely. It just seemed like the defensive capabilities of Minmin was really showing there, and it was just hard for him to find his way out of disadvantage. And all credit to Scissor, like his yeah. ledge pressure and the way that he could press you in any situation. It's just nice. Nice. So well done, Scissor. Moving on in pool D1. Rhino Dude, yeah, the Samus. I'm not sure who Little Shark plays. I have no idea who Little Shark is, but I love Rhino Dude Samus. It's, especially when he gets going. I, I've seen a, him play a, a ton, and sometimes he needs time to like get cooking. And I feel like they're, every character or player of a character has to tell as to like when they've got good like movement and stuff. So, uh -huh. who do you play? Apollo. You're Apollo. So, do you do like teleport cancel? Oh like, yeah, absolutely. When I'm feeling myself, I'll just. Yeah. I'll be warping across the stage. Zoom, yeah. zoom. <laughs> just let him know. Like, zip, zoom, zobbity, bop. You can't mess with me. I, as a set raw player, I'll, I'll, like, start wave bouncing the, uh, the Mega Flares, the Giga Flares. Oh, and yeah. Wing and stuff. 